I only think thoughts till I make decisions in the interim. My mind sees blank like canvas machines. So that's song number two. I appreciate that. And thank you to Louise who said, and I, I appreciate all of that. Thank you. Margaret, mm -hmm. sorry, thank you. No words in that. Um, uh, okay, so. This next song, everything is truthful in the song. This is from my next album, and I'm doing it for um, uh, like my next album for next year. And basically, I researched a bunch of legacies, life legacies, just a bunch of biographies. So this next track, everything is a truth in this, because I figure we're all going to leave a legacy, whether it's good or bad. And um, they say like our lives are either like an example, like it's great, or it's a warning on what not to do. So I, I really, I kept looking at like, I think I have like, and it's, I, I found more negative ones than good ones. And, but I, I, I took all of them and put them in this song uh, to just kind of show like good life or bad life or just what it is. So everything in this next song is real and true. So it's all the truth in this song. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. She was a church girl, raised in a church world, sang with guitar, struck deals, became a star, sold millions of tracks, couldn't be mad, they censored her songs, girls weren't supposed to be sad. Most of the money she earned went to the church, but when she had problems, no one gave her a second look. Now picture this all. She ended up killing herself with barbiturates and alcohol. What a doll, like Lauren McCall, born in the Bronx, lived till 89, went to a mall. They did several prominent actors, read scripts off chapters, cruised through life, patched rough spots up like plaster, worked hard, Great fate, left $26 million in her estate. Great, don't compare our legacy. I'm just stating facts like when hip hop embraced breaking. What's up with these legacies? What do these people mean to me? What's up with these legacies? And what are we going to leave? He was a bright kid, excelled in school is what he did. Learned his dad never divorced his first wife, double wifing. Graduated college, was a hype man. Told his team to treat running as if it's against the force of darkness. Donated 24 Gs of his savings in 1990 to combat global poverty. Hiking was his wish, so it's what he did. Found dead at 24, trivialized risks. Sam took out a $20,000 loan. Borrowed 5,000 more and opened up his first store. He didn't look for prissy, pristine college lookers, but get down right now, hustlers and workers. Married 49 years to his wife that he adored, she made it go farther, his first business partner. Built the largest corporation in the world by revenue, created the most jobs, and really lived by principle. What's up with these legacies? What do these people mean to me? What's up with these legacies? And what are we going to leave? She fell off a luxury hotel, vodka and big breasts. Dude tried to catch her, but crashed through glass. He bled to death. An author who advocated for self-control died at 95 with his wife and influenced the globe as a whole. Young dance queen, rum and cigarette breath. Her friend jumped on the back of her head and cracked her neck to death. The rock star, lots of sex and lots of drugs. As 70, he keeps going a millionaire and well loved. Can't say the same for his ex, fronted on social media, but was really in debt. Averting the truth, she killed herself while Dan copped hundreds of escorts with his wealth. She was so pretty. Playboy magazine queen, years later left off a balcony with her kid in New York City. Now this is fun. Dude made an app for his hun and became a billionaire by the age of 31. Spiritual teacher, 
lifelong preacher, respected, but died in poverty. Spiritual teacher, lifelong preacher, respected, but, but died in poverty because he neglected money. An engineer, an author who inspired the world heavily, married for 82 years, died at 103. That's that song. Thank you. Now again, this song is on um, my upcoming album, and uh, um, this is kind of just like a positive song about like feeling good, which is like, uh, you know, yeah, we saw COVID and all this stuff, but a lot of, just a lot of struggles, but it doesn't mean we can still choose, we can choose to feel happy, we can choose to continue our lives, we can choose to do things. and. Um, uh, I think that regardless of what's happening, we can still um, be on point. Like, if we're happy in these times, if people are complaining about COVID, it doesn't mean we have to lower ourselves because of that. Because um, again, I know what level I'm at, but then there's people who are at higher levels. So I'm just aspiring to become more and feel good in the process. <laughs> 